every element in the periodic table will always have two numbers associated with it. The big number is known as the mass number, and the small number is known as the atomic number, sometimes called the proton number. The mass number is made up of protons and neutrons, whereas the atomic number is the number of protons also equal to the number of electrons. To help understand what these numbers mean, a good technique is to write P for protons, E for electrons, and then N for neutrons, where we'll calculate exactly how many subatomic particles a carbon element has. Because the atomic number is six, this means there are six protons. This means there will also be six electrons. To calculate the number of neutrons, you do mass number, take away atomic number, which means the calculation will be 12 take away 6 equals 6 neutrons. Make sure you always use this equation when calculating the number of neutrons. Just to reiterate, it's mass number take away atomic number. To put what you've learned into practice, I'd like you to now find out what the mass number and atomic number is for each element that I've put in the table. Can you then please use this information to figure out how many protons, electrons and neutrons each element has? If you do struggle, you can just use the pen technique where you write out P-E-N and this will help you figure out exactly how many subatomic particles each element has. Please pause the video now to start the task. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions and the answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video.